Okay, first thing you do, get out a capsule very carefully. Make sure your table is very clean. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove, we're gonna cut the trace that goes to the, the case. I don't know if you can see very well here. Let me move a light over. Now, right here, hmm, this is the output pin here, and this is the is the ground pin. Okay, the basically are two pins, and then there's there's the shield. If you can see, there's a little tiny trace right there, connecting this number two to the case, and I'm going to cut that trace very carefully. Use a very sharp. Uh, Zacto knife, and where are my glasses when I need them? I'm gonna redo this. Okay, I got my glasses. Eh. Don't look at me. Um, this is, <laughs> here, this is what you do. Very carefully look at, I hold this down with my fingernail like this. Very carefully, give it a slice right here, right there. Be careful about pressing on it too hard. Just cut the trace. Do it several times until you get that trace cut. I'm not worried about connecting. Unlike some other videos about this, I'm not worried about soldering anything to the case. And I'm not gonna cut the case away. I'm not gonna do anything with the case. All right, now I'm gonna bevel it here so I make sure that there's no connection. There's a little piece coming out. There we go. Let's get the meter and double check. Sure looks like hell. <laughs> I don't know if I did a good job or not. Let's see. Let's turn this thing on. Put it on beep. And what is that? Ah. Nope. Oh, I've got the silly thing. There it is. I had the wrong switch pushed. All right, so we're gonna hold the case. I'm gonna test either side of the case. Now we have a connection. So I'll hold the, hold the, uh, the center pin, I mean this, this pin that used to be connected to the case, and, and it's still connected. Always test it. Be sure you test. Especially if you're old and blind like me. You can't see that you've cut the trace or not. <laughs> if you don't cut the trace, it's gonna sound like shit. There we go, that looks good actually. I think I got it this time. So, hold it to the pin here, push it in, uh, come on baby. Push it in right there. Good contact, pressing hard, test the side. No contact. Yay, okay, it's alive. Next thing you do, you wanna turn on your, your soldering iron and get this one over here. I got this lovely little soldering iron. You're gonna prepare some wires. Actually, the best thing to do is go ahead and hook it right up to your mic, your wires that you're gonna use for your microphone, which is these guys. So I'm gonna prepare this wire here. That's a bit long there, I don't know why. I'm gonna get the other end. Ah, oh, it's too long. I already cut some pieces, throw that over there. Okay, here it is. Here we go. Here's a piece. That's about a good distance there. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna end up putting this through that piece of copper pipe. Let's say this one. Now I'm gonna fix this up. This looks like rubbish right now. It's all boogered up, the, the, lots of burrs on the edge, and this is tore up on the end. Let me get a better one. That's a good one there. All right, this is a bit better. See, I'm gonna polish it up and everything pretty. But what we'll do is we'll run this through this way like this, and then we'll connect it, and then we'll pull it back through. But I'm not gonna put that in there yet. I'm gonna put this on first, and um, I'm gonna strip this wire. And kids, don't, do, don't try this at home. <laughs> I tried to teach my son this and he keeps clipping the wire off. You have to use your flush cutters with the, uh, the flat side out. These got all rusty. Everything does in this country. But trim it back about this far, see? 
squeeze it until you can feel the copper and pull it off, see? Nice, that's pretty. You don't need special flush uh, strippers if you know how to do this. <laughs> uh, you only have to do it for like, how many years? 30, 40, whatever, ridiculous years. Uh, yeah, get a good wire stripper, it helps. I'm gonna tin these guys. Get them tinned, okay. This one, I'm not worried about. I'm gonna just tin it on the end so it's not fraying everywhere when I try to push and pull it somewhere. Yeah, just put a little tin on there, hold them together, all right? So that's, that's, uh, that's not bad. A Little bit of solder and it's a flux on there. It's ready to go, okay. Now, um, what is nice if you can, for, in, for example, I'm gonna take one of these guys and I'm gonna put this microphone in backwards if I can. I, I wonder if it's honed out good enough. If it's not, if you have a spare tube, this is a good way to do it, to hold this, to hold that microphone without damaging it. And you take a reamer and you ream, it, ream that tube out as good as you can. Ream it out even more than you think it might need. Yeah, let me get this. And a pair of pliers on this. Uh, there we go. Nice, nice. Because I'm gonna pinch this thing, I'm gonna hold this in a clamp. See, this is just gonna be a holder right here. Big enough to hold this guy. Yeah, it's almost there. I'd say it's there, no, it's there, it's there, look. It just holds it, look at that, see? Holds it just like that. And so, I'm gonna just, it's gently just laying in there, okay? So then we're gonna get a clamp. Where's my clamps? Ugh. I've got a spring clamp here somewhere, yeah, here we go. Get you a spring clamp and clamp that, your little thing in there, see that? like that, so it's holding your microphone without squishing it or, or holding it hard. I can put this on there to kind of hold it still, maybe on the side there. Yeah, it's not gonna jump around when I try to solder. Now, get my iron, a little tin on it, a little, little bit of solder on it, clean it off. I'm gonna dab some fresh flux on that spot there, and there, done. That's it. Don't do any more than that. I'm gonna put the, the, the colored wire to the, the one that used to, that, that was not connected to the ground or the case. So I'm gonna solder this just like that. Oh, I'm shaking too much. See, it pops out. But that, 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 kick, that will hold it nicely. And that, and done. There we go. Now see? Your mic is undamaged, uncrimped, unmolested, okay? Let it cool real good. Do not put pressure on the capsule. Do not try to grab the, the capsule like this and twist the wire straight. Don't do that. What you wanna do is use your thumbnail, put it on the edge of the wire where it was soldered, and hold the whole capsule steady like that and just bend it straight up like that. Done, okay? Don't put stress on this or that little circuit board on the back of the capsule or you'll destroy the microphone.